Here's the thing. I have this one shot of a woman walking down by the ocean. It's a pretty nice shot, it's sort of sunset, the sky's really nice, but there's just one problem. I also need this shot, but without any people in it. And I forgot to get that shot. But what if there's a way to fix this without having to go out and reshoot everything again, but do it right here, in post, in front of my computer? Welcome back to the channel, my friends. If you're new here, my name is Chris. I'm a full-time photographer and videographer living in Sweden. And today, we're gonna to be removing some unwanted objects, or more, or more specifically, a unwanted person. That sounds really mean. Uh, from a video. I made a similar video a few weeks ago about how to remove things like logos from video. Uh, if you want to check that out, I'll throw the link up here somewhere. You can go check that out if that's something you want to, if that's something you might find useful. As you probably know already, removing things from video footage can be really tricky to say the least. It usually takes a lot of painstaking work from a group of people. Work that may or may not even be worth the time in the end. If it's even possible to do it all. I mean, most of the time, the best solution is just go out and reshoot whatever you screwed up in the beginning. But I have an example here that I think might be really nice to try out. So in this scenario, I'm done with the shoot of a woman walking down the beach. The shoot is done, everything went really well, I'm happy with the footage. But when I come back home, I transfer all the footage to my computer and start going through everything. I realize one thing. I forgot to get a really nice shot of just the beach and the view without any people. Especially when it comes to stock footage shoots, it's really nice to cover your bases and also get everything without people. I mean, let's say you're shooting in a house, it's always nice to get some empty house shots. Or if you're shooting on a beach, it would be nice to just get some empty beach shots. That way, you have a lot more footage in your portfolio for clients to work with, and maybe you know, even for different types of clients. Some people want people, some clients want people, some clients don't. And by not getting this shot of an empty beach, I just, I'm losing a whole other potential client base. And now I'm obviously back home, the weather is gone, I'm not in the same spot anymore, my model has moved on to other things, and even if I could reshoot, I don't even think I would want to, because I've already spent all this time and money on this first shoot. But what if there's a way to fix this in post, to remove our model from the video footage, and that way, get some nice shots of just the beach. Is that even possible? Let's give it a shot. Now to do this, I'm gonna open up After Effects and I'm gonna throw in those clips that I think are gonna make good shots, good, that I think are gonna make nice looking shots of just the landscape when the model's gone. If you've ever worked in Photoshop before, I'm sure you're very aware of the Content Aware Fill Tool. It's been around for Photoshop for quite some time. It's a great tool to get rid of unwanted objects in your photographs. Sometimes it can truly do like mind-blowing things. And not so long ago, Adobe also brought this tool into After Effects so you can do the same thing to video. And from what I've seen, and from a little bit of experimenting myself, it can do some pretty insane things too. And uh, sometimes some pretty awful things. It's uh, far from perfect, but um, I'm pretty positive about this one. I'm feeling good about this one. So let's start with this clip right here. I've thrown it into a new composition. It's a super simple video. Camera's just following her as she walks down the ocean. Always in the same side view. So the first thing that I wanna do is I'm just gonna create a little mask around our subject here. Uh, I'm gonna make a super rough mask. Something like this. Uh, I'm just gonna turn this to none so I see what I'm doing. Uh, create a keyframe. I'm just gonna go to the beginning of this clip. Make sure she's inside of the mask. I'm gonna go to the end of the clip, do the same thing there. I'm just gonna check this in a few spots along the clip just to make sure she's always inside of that mask. I think we are good to go. Nice. So 
let's find content aware fill. There we go. Um, I'm going to change this mask to subtract. Make sure this fill method is set to object. Uh, I'm going to put the alpha on 10 just to give us some wiggle room around the edges. And then I'm going to create or generate, sorry, a fill layer. So as you can see right here, Afterface is going to start analyzing the footage uh, and generate a fill layer for this hole that we created where our uh, model used to be. And a fair warning, this fill layer is going to take up some time. Time. This fill layer is going to take up some space on your computer because uh, it's going to create a PNG sequence where every single frame is saved in a folder on your computer. So make sure you have some space uh, left on your hard drive before you do this. Uh, and don't forget to delete all of that when you're done with this uh, project afterwards. Otherwise, it's just going to stick, stick around and eat up space in your laptop on your computer. For the sake of this little video, I'm just gonna fast forward right here while this, while uh, After Effects is doing its thing. Right. It looks like we're done. And just by looking at this first frame, it already looks really promising. I'm just gonna move this fill layer to the bottom. So we got this little edge right here. I'm gonna see if we can just make that a little bit nicer. So just feather out the mask a little bit. Oh. Nope. Sure. Uh, I'm just gonna let this play so we can preview it. And we'll see how this looks. I'm pretty hopeful. This is insane. I can't I can't see. I can't see at all where there used to be a person. <laughs> okay, we got her hair and her head sticking out there a little bit. And it's towards the end, it's sort of creating this weird thing on the horizon. There's also, there's a line in the beginning and at the end of the shot. But I mean, if I was to show this clip to someone, I don't know. I mean, if you if you stare at the sand right where she used to be, or on the horizon line right where she used to be, I mean, you can definitely tell something's off. But I mean, just looking at the clip as a whole, you would just you would never guess that there was a person there. Now, would I upload this to my stock portfolio? Uh, maybe not. But um, well, let's say I needed to remove a person from a like short clip, like one or two seconds in an entire, in a longer video. That's a no brainer. That's definitely, you could get away with that for sure. It's kind of looking a little bit funny too when the stone is moving through the image. It sort of fades out and fades back in again. If this is how good it is right now, I mean, imagine a few years from now, this would probably really help, be really helpful if you had like a drone shot of a beach with like a few people walking around. You just, you know, delete those people. I mean, overall, I think this was a very successful experiment. Um, I think there's huge potential in this and I'm definitely gonna use this function in the future to remove things that I don't want uh, in, if there's something in a video clip that I do not want. Um, just think about all those times when something accidentally ends up in frame. You know, like the Starbucks takeaway cup in the Game of Thrones. As far as I can remember, the camera wasn't moving in that shot, so it probably was a lot easier for them to remove the coffee cup. They could probably just do it in, in Photoshop and throw that on there. I'm impressed. I'm really impressed. And uh, I think I'm just gonna end the video right here. Super happy about this little test. Um, I think this is gonna be super useful in the future. Um, I hope you found something out of it, that you can find some use out of this as well. And uh, please feel free to give this video a like if you enjoyed it. Uh, subscribe if you want to see more videos. And um, take care of yourself and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.